Hello, it's Guy here from GD Models. Today, um, I'm doing a product review of the, um, I think it was the, sorry, it was the Airfix 1 to 72 Tiger Moth. Well, I didn't do a build log for this or uh, unboxing video because it was literally two sprues. Actually, it was three sprues, but they were literally tiny, tiny little sprues. Um, not much bigger than a phone, like an iPhone size or a Samsung, you know, Samsung S7, so very tiny sprues. Um, and you had your clear sprue, which only had two little uh, mirrors on. Um, I thought I'd just quickly build this one because I've got a couple of very tiny kits. I'm talking literally very tiny. Um, for example, this one, which the box itself is not much bigger than the phone. There you go. Hand. My hand is actually bigger than the box. So I'm not doing build logs on these because literally, um, yeah, I'm just like smashing them out um, in a couple of days. But I will do a build log vi uh, a video to sort of like show off the kit what i thought of the build so if any of you guys out there um are fancying sort of like a budget kit i guess um like some people who are new to the hobby don't want to go out and let's say buy a 90 pound um tamiya 1 to 32 <laughs> you know that's insane to do even if you say I'm going to be doing a new series of videos which are just literally built reviews of very, very small models. I mean, we're talking less than 20 quid. Uh, maybe most of them are most probably going to be less than 10 pounds. So these are very small kits, but they're all going to be aircraft in 1 to 32, sorry, 1 to 72 scale. So as you can see here, this took me about two days. Um, She's only, like, as you can see, she's very little. Um, she's the same scale as the Concorde I'm building at the moment, which I'll be doing a video today. So the cockpit of the Concorde is the same size as the whole plane. So you've got here um, two, obviously, your two open cockpits there. Um, she's quite a nice kit. I didn't do the humble paints because I don't get on with humble paints. I this, did this whole kit in Vallejo. Um, you can get this new box out that Vallejo do. That's um, the RAF bomber bombers colours for the Second World War. And on my um, poster on the wall that obviously... Uh, shows all like little aircraft and then all the different colors for the different paint schemes for World War II, the British aircraft. You had the trainers, which obviously this is a trainer, um, and I chose the paints on that. So basically, she's straightforward. Um, the only thing that I found a little fiddly on her was the string, but it does say. Um, on the build, uh, this is the string. You can you can you can do the string, obviously, and as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Um, but you don't have to. It does say you don't need to do the string. It's for expert modelers only, or something. I can't remember exactly what it says. Um, but yeah, she she came on okay. Um, as I say, I can't remember how much she cost me. I think it was like literally five, six quid. Um, I haven't made many biplanes in the past. Actually, I've never made a biplane. I've made a triplane. I've made the Fokker, the Fokker uh, Red Baron aircraft, which is hanging on my ceiling in the same scale. But obviously, that's a triplane. This is just a biplane. Um, I've recently bought a couple of other biplanes um, from E Models, the Eddard. Um, a couple of Eddards, um, and I'll just be doing little build rev built reviews on them as well. So actually, to the review itself, um, 
as I said, she's she's between five and ten pounds. This kit, as you can see, she's, she's not very big. the The camo scheme is not that complicated, to be fair. Um, it's just a typical RAF brown and green, really, in the uh, trainer yellow. Um, she went together okay. The only bit I found that didn't go together was this bit here just the rear tail because she wouldn't sit nicely on there so actually there's like a plastic lug or something that obviously you push this onto the tail blade here and it wouldn't push in so I ended up just sanding it flat and then just gluing it on like that that's the only complaint about this whole build process um, also the other thing as well is you've got this bit here and this bit here I strongly recommend you come with a plastic bit that holds them together it does say in the instructions don't cut that out until you have finished and I would recommend that because if um, you do these might obviously they don't set right in that so but as I said it is, it's a little kit um very enjoyable obviously where it's air fix it's got this like um softer plastic so it's quite nice to like use a knife to just uh shape cut the lugs off and obviously sand it smooth um but it's a great start kit um obviously there are easier start kits because of the color obviously um you could just get like a plane it's all just one color that'd be easier but she's quite effective for not a lot of money so the roundup is if you have got a massive budget um, some of these little aircraft these little models are just as good and just as enjoyable as some of obviously some of the really big expensive ones um, and it's just a nice addition to the collection. It's it's a little little small, you know. It's a, it's all one seventy two scale, but yeah, she's just a lovely little kit. So um, I would recommend it if your budget's uh, if if you're like a young lad and you're on pocket money or a young lady for that matter, um, and you only get pocket money, obviously, then yeah, it's a great kit. Um, and even to the more experienced modeler, it's a beautiful kit to go with the collection because obviously it's a it's a nice aircraft. Um, it's, it's it's what I would call a weekend project, you know. It's just a weekend project. Um, I think yeah, this took me two days to build, and obviously you guys have seen some of my builds can take me two months. Like the ta the Havlin Mosquito took me about two months to build. Um, but this one's literally took me two days, so it's very straightforward. Um, but yeah, very enjoyable. Not a lot of hassle to it, and it's come out quite effective. So the next stage for this one is to have some fishing wire put on her, and then I'm gonna put on the ceiling um, along with the red back. Well, obviously my red baron's already on the ceiling, so this is gonna have it be a nice addition to that. Um, thank you for watching this video and all, as always uh, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so and to the people who have already subs subscribed a big thank you for subscribing um, have a great day and happily, happy modelling goodbye for now